Hi everyone, it's Denise from Paper Pastime. I've had a few requests to show how to assemble my mailbox cut file, so I thought I would just quickly show you that. I'm not going to embellish it or anything, just show you how it goes together. This is the file. It's cut and scored. And you have these two funky little pieces. Depending on whether you use the SVG file or the DS file, they'll look a little different, just these ends. I'm new to Inkscape and I really don't know how to make all the shapes, so we use little triangles instead of like a square. Okay, and here's your little flag. So that's all you need. Now I'm just gonna use my ATG gun for this, but if you're gonna use a heavy card stock or even chipboard, definitely would recommend either a sticky strip or my new favorite, which is an old thing, is the hot glue gun. That works really well. Just gonna adhere that there. Don't crease that. <laughs> you don't want a point in your mailbox. Okay, so then you have this. The only tricky part to this is attaching these, but it's not hard. You just have to fiddle with it. I probably should have put my adhesive on first, but this will work. Just want to make sure you get your adhesive right up to the edge. The curve can be a little tricky, but it can be done. It doesn't have to look pretty. You're going to cover it with paper later anyway. Okay, I think I have enough around there. So score this, very important that you score deep enough. You want to get past that point. You want to make sure you're going to have a relatively clean piece showing here. So just bend all those in. Then I found it also helps if you just kind of take your hands and curve this. Get it used to the shape that it's going to be in. Now I've cut it longer than what you actually need. I just start in here and just kind of lay it around. The more careful you are, the better your edge is going to look. And you would probably use more adhesive than what I just did. I actually used um, some liquid glue on one that I made out of chipboard because I wanted to make sure that it held. Tuck that in. And you just follow it around. Then when you get to the end, no, oh, I didn't grab scissors. One second. A basic tool, you'd think you'd have it, then you just need to snip it off. Snip it out here, and then you just have to go in and snip it off there. <clears throat> now that you have it how you want it, flatten those little points down good, and there you have it. Oh, I didn't cut that one short enough. Just have to check it, make sure that it will close. Cut a little more off if you need to. Come on, let go. There we go. And it's not a real precise fit. Then just fold it over. Now what I've been doing is I do both ends and see which one I like that opens and closes the best. And I keep that to be my movable one and then I glue my other one down. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. Add your adhesive along both sides. Yeah, I would definitely recommend putting your adhesive on before you glue this flap over. It would be a lot easier. <clears throat> Stuck to everything. All right, I've already folded this one, got it into the shape. And once again, going to go around that edge and follow it in. The curve is just the tricky part. Get to the inside. Oops. It moved. Yeah, ATG gun's probably not gonna hold it good enough. I said I'm just using that because it's easy for the video. I used the Scotch quick dry adhesive on mine, which held really well. I don't think I could use my glue gun to attach this part. I would burn myself. I tend to do that a lot. Anyway, okay.
And there's your basic mailbox. Then I would put some glue in here and glue that one shut, like so. And then for the flag, which I do have right here, I'm just going to decide about where you want it. That looks good. Get my crocodile. Punch my hole. Punch a hole in my flag. I just have a regular old office brad for this because I'm not doing anything fancy with it. There you have it. Now for the one I made that I can't show you yet, I lined this and I made it out of chipboard and covered it with paper. A couple more days and I can show you, but I just wanted to make sure you understood how this went together. And there you have it. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.